What data does a MEVAS inspection report contain? This explains how an inspection report for used construction machines or vehicles is structured. First, the inspector notes configuration of the construction machine. He notes, for example, whether the machine has air conditioning, if additional hydraulic lines are installed, whether the excavator has a dozer blade, if there is a SCE certificate or whether a quick coupler is attached. Now the actual inspection begins. The technician examines the condition of the cab, seat, switches, display instruments, function of air conditioning, heating, windows, mirrors and wipers. Now follows the inspection of the engine. After checking the operating fluids such as coolant and oil, the engine is started. The inspector approves if the engine is smoking unusually, making a normal noise, or showing other signs of increased wear. After the engine is done, an inspection of the external components of the machine is performed. We examine boom, lift arm, all doors, flaps, storage compartments, lighting, and paintwork. After this inspection, we turn our attention to the hydraulic system. The hoses are inspected, we look for if there are any leaking cylinders, we listen for the sounds of the hydraulic pump and check if there are any leaks on the pump or valve block. After all visual inspections are completed, a functional test is performed. During this test, the inspector checks if there is any play in joints, if the drive works perfectly, if there are any unusual noises and if all functions work in a normal way. For each type of machine, there are of course different things that are checked. The inspector is trained to do this and is familiar with many different types of machines. After the function test, the attachments such as buckets or shovels are checked and their data recorded. Then tires or undercarriages are examined and their wear is analyzed. In the last section of our inspection report is space to note any problems and additional information. Last but not least, the inspector leaves a comment about the general condition of the machine. At the very end, we often record the transport dimensions.